Coming up, we make a thing beep a bunch of times. We open a box, and some tail lights just turn on because they want to. We've got lots to do in part two, so let's hop straight into the fixes. And starting off strong, we look at this horn button mechanism, which is absolutely filthy and pretty useless. But that's fine, that's what we expected. So, a minor change which I have done, I obviously need to tidy this up a bit, but this spring was pretty strong, so it meant that when you were engaging the throttle and pushing it forwards, holding it was kind of difficult, like your arm would get a bit tired after a while. But now I've changed it so that there is just one spring, and if we do this, it stays all the way. And you can see that because here fits on the last little solenoid electromagnet contact and you can still break it. So yeah, I think this is going to be a nice upgrade and I'm going to get this removed because that looks silly. Okay, what I have done here, I've just been soaking these dirty contacts in vinegar overnight and I'm going to give them a scrub to then test the continuity because one of them was kind of working the other one was definitely not working it was kind of rusty crusty and not great so we're just going to give them a little scrubby scrub with this and then we're going to test them out all right we set up the continuity giving these a little bit of a scrub and this is in the on position so it should that's good these switches are good to go and of course, we've got three new batteries. Three batteries. We're gonna get these hooked up. So what I have set up here is kind of a rough layout I'm using. This is not gonna be the final thing. We're gonna put some wood down on the bottom for the final build. But what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna hook these up in series um, so that we can attain the 36 volts that we need. So we're gonna be doing positive to negative, positive to negative, and then hook up the negative and positive terminals on those side. So we'll cut to that being done. Well, all right, let's chuck a seat in. It's not got very good brakes. <laughs> okay, so after my first test run with 36 volts, it was really quick and 24 is about right. But the reason for that is, as I've mentioned previously, this is speed two, that's speed three. Speed one has no wire from it. And when I trace these ones, we see the green one from three goes to this terminal over here. And then the one from two goes on the back, just underneath there, you can see. So my thoughts are, we're gonna put one to this one. And we're gonna see what happens there. I'm just gonna use a piece of scrap wire to get this tested. So hopefully that's gonna fix it. All right, we can roll this out all that did is it made it go forwards whilst this is not in selection so not touching that one again it was at this point that i stopped just so i wouldn't damage anything moving on okay so in another part of this we're going to cut some of this i don't know whatever plywood material for the bottom of the battery trays there's no wood there so it needs something to support them otherwise the batteries will fall off so we just done a little measurement there i'm going to use my buddy the ryobi circular saw and cut some stuff out for Alrighty, I've had a look, and currently at this stage, it's not good. The wiring doesn't work, 
there's some issues, I don't know where the negative is, I don't know how to ground half the stuff, so it all needs a thorough clean and it's gonna take quite some time. So I'm just gonna get into it. There's no guide on these, surprisingly, so I'm just gonna be trying to go with what originally was there. And I think I'm gonna try and draw a diagram as well. So let's get straight into rewiring the king. All oh, right, we have a view of underneath. Now, I thought, let's troubleshoot this wiring because we've done a bench test of this, the horn does work. And the more I look at the wiring, the more I'm concerned. So what I did was I found that this is the hot coming from the battery. And that's very blue. Yeah, this looks totally corroded. So what I'm gonna do, regrettably, I'm just gonna rewire it because I have no idea how good this wire is. So I've got the first one in, gonna do the second and just slowly go through this. It's gonna take quite a while. And we've copied this lovely arrangement. So we'll put that up there and just keep on going. All right, it is about three hours after I started doing the rewire. And to those eagle-eyed viewers, yes, these are temporary. They are supposed to go down this tube and in here, but just for testing purposes to make sure that I'm not completely screwing things up, I just put them down the front. I am at a point where I need to take a break, clearly. I'm trying to work out which one of these terminals the power goes to. Is it this one? Is it the one over there? I honestly don't know. Do I have a dodgy ground somewhere? Is this the ground of the system? Probably not, but this is the way we are. So if I just take you around the front and underneath with my absolute mess of tools, what I have basically done is just loosely added a bunch of wires. Um, anything that isn't dirty is the new stuff. And yes, I have been a smarticle. And using my extremely technical drawing skills, I have been mapping out what I understand as the kind of like layout of things. So this is a very, very crappy diagram, but maybe I'll clean this up once I figure everything out made a whole bunch of changes to the wiring. I've added this new one for the uh, the relay or whatever this switch is. So this still works. If I give it a click, we're still getting what we need. So it's Friday. I'm going to crack open a cold one and then I come back to this tomorrow morning. All right, we've done some troubleshooting and the taillights work. Not really sure what I did. All I've done here is I've got a positive there and a negative there. So that's progress, maybe. Why is it so big? That's obscenely pointless. What is that? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the roof's off. Woo! Yeah, convertible! All right, we got an update. This is screwed. This one isn't. What, Pam? Um, yeah, we had to run a negative because this has this has no ground. All the ground <laughs> is bad. Every single ground is torturous and terrible, rusty and crusty. So we're just gonna run a bunch of blue wire. But we got a headlight, so that's neat. Okay, so some time has passed after having to run the negative from here all the way over to here for the lights, which they do work. What we had to do to get the horn working was more or less the same thing. So we've got this wire coming all the way down and it means when you press this, it goes off. If we're coming underneath it, now this is important for anybody here who decides to buy one of these things. Let's make this a bit wider. We can see here that this is the relay. This actually was the cause of all the grounding issues for the horn. So this needed some wiggling. This is a really cheap Chinese component. It's not made well. Parts are really hard to come by. So this is what we had and it sucks, but it does technically work for the time being. But I am quite pleased overall. What is next on the agenda for the King is getting this absolute rat's nest of a wire set up, either inside here or wrapped around it. I don't know if I'm gonna be precious about it, but overall, pretty darn happy with how things have gone. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks for coming along and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you later.